Sound resumed. James, it, if you just click options, yeah, I, I mean know. it'll restart it. There's like six buttons on the top right. You'll kind of hear it when you move your mouse, and it'll show either top 10, top 20, the timing, things like that. You just kind of have to feel around for them. The very right hand button is go back to the regular screen, like exit the. Yeah, they're invisible, but they're up along the top left hand side. You'll, you'll kind of hear it when you move over it. Channel switch. Um, probably. Oh, hi, George. Sound muted. Bye. <laughs> 
You were moved. Sound <laughs> resumed. I think you guys are live. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, um, hello? <laughs> User left your channel. So, oh, Chris, I'll just send you a message on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Begun. This championship, of course, is uh, the lowest class uh, uh, that is available of the uh, FSR championship. Later today, there will be the first ace race, um, and then, uh, yeah, then the, the real guys, as I should say, are uh, going to race. But now it's. Uh, going to kick off with uh, with the AMA championship and uh, yeah let's uh, let's see how these guys are doing just joining the server now right away for the guys who didn't know and probably none of you do I am Felix I also drive in the pro series did a couple of races last year and uh, Bill Barnes or uh, Bill Barnes is also here. <laughs> he also drove in the Pro Series last year. Got fired though. So I'm on the server now. Let's see who's first. At the moment, it's Christopher Raby. Raby. Yeah. Raby. Oh, so it's in Raby's, okay. No. <laughs> but um. <laughs> No, no, these these cars are not the same cars. These cars are uh, uh, like GP2 cars on well, GP2 cars. These cars are not the same cars that we, uh, we use in the Pro Ace and uh, World Championship. Uh, these cars are a little bit uh, downtuned, and they look other other. Yeah, they look, they don't look the same. They look uh, more like GP2 cars. The gaps are. Uh, are quite big at the moment. We have nine drivers in total, and uh, the fastest lap, Christopher Reddy, has done a 131.838. And behind him is Fabian Ruth. He uh, is just five, almost six tenths. Um, uh, yeah, behind him. And then there's quite a big. Oh, first a small gap to uh, James Early, who's just. 10th shy of Fabian Roos time and then we've got uh, Cameron Roger he is uh, quite quite a bit back he is 1.3 seconds lower and then uh, Gerlof de Vries also a second behind Cameron then. so the gaps are, are quite big and yeah I'm, I'm really interested to see what uh, what these guys can do of course mm -hmm. these guys are not uh, are not uh, yeah these guys are just starting uh, to yeah, get known to uh, this kind of FSR racing. At least that's what this league is made for, for the guys who aren't as quick to drive and throw and who just want to uh, yeah, get some experience. Yeah. 
But um, obviously, everyone in the chat is uh, visiting for the one and only um, swaggish Welshman, Ron Squire himself. Just um, he's waiting a few minutes at the moment. He's going to do a lap just at the end. You need to give the others a chance because um, he will undoubtedly outqualify everyone by at least 4.20 seconds. Um, but yeah, quite spread out at the moment, but um, it's going to get even bigger in a sec when Ron starts tearing up the track with a like a 128 or something, most likely. Yeah, let's see that. I, I want to see that. I think the gap between... Uh, I don't know how, how, uh, how big the gap is between uh, these cars and like the normal FSL cars, uh, time-wide. I don't know exactly, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see in Pro uh, mm. tomorrow the, uh, what those guys can do, but what, what we can do. Not what uh, you can do. Yeah, what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so far, oh, Ron Squire heads out on track, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yep. Prepare yourselves. Uh, Christopher Cobb, our American president, is uh, currently not on track. Just yes. two minutes to go, though. No, one and a half. He's not going to make it. No, he's not going to make it anymore. Uh, too late to do a lap now, but uh, let's see what Von Squire can do. He can still make it to the uh, to the finish line to do his uh, quali lap. He he left it all to uh, one single lap at the end, so he has no room to uh, make any mistakes. And let's hope he doesn't get in the in the way of somebody here. Who's that guy in the red uh, red car? I think that is Gerlof de Vries. He just. Uh, Maybe got a little bit holed up by uh, by Squire there, but uh, can really see that now. Squire coming through the last turn, Let's see what he can do. A couple of guys also on a lap. Fabian is fastest in the first sector. Yeah, and set his uh, best second sector time. So let's see what he can do. Maybe he can go up to the first spot. Can he do that? Oh, no, he's just not quick enough that last sector. Really wasn't good enough. Maybe got hauled up by Von Squire a bit. Von Squire going really right through the first turn there. Now on the second straight, breaking right behind the 100 meter board, locking up a little bit there even. Now let's see what his first deck of time is. Can he uh, come close to the other guys' time? Um, Let's see, 32.9, so that's almost uh, two seconds of the time that Christopher Raby did. So it's not going to be pole position unless he finds some miracle and he goes two seconds quicker than he come into second sectors. But I don't think that's going to ever happen. Christopher Raby right behind him though. Or is he? No, he's just coming out of the last sector now. Let's see. He had a little bit of a better first sector time, but the second sector wasn't as good as he did before. Let's see what he can do in this last sector. Can he improve? Um, yes, he does improve indeed by just two tenths. Good job from him. And uh, I think only Gerl of the Vries is now on the lap anymore. He's just coming to the finish line now. He has been a little bit quicker. Let's see what he can do. Can he move up a spot? No. He stays in the same spot. Coming closer and closer to the time of Cameron though. But not, not enough to uh, move up to P4. So only David Rodriguez now on the lap. Or is he? No, he has finished. So that's, uh, that's it for qualifying. Qualifying for the AMA series is done. And we have on pole position Christopher Raby. With the 131.813. Good time from him. Yeah, just looking at the lap times, everyone is very, very close. Yeah. 
Well, at least the top three are uh, quite close to each other. Only half a second between those. Mm -hmm. Good job from uh, for those guys, and also b between the other guys, it wasn't uh, wasn't as big of a gap as well. Just a little bit of a bigger gap between uh, P3 James and Cameron in P4. But uh, now it's going to be a 10 minute warm up. I uh, I think. Hope so. Yeah, I think so. So. Uh, for five five minutes. Five minutes, ten minutes. Okay. I don't know. The session is ten minutes, but maybe. Uh, Maybe yeah. they'll, uh, they'll start uh, when they, uh, they're they ready to run. Well, well, actually, we're doing a practice start, but um, I imagine that's too graphic to broadcast live, so they might just uh, want to cover up the practice start. Yeah. Then the official race, okay. Okay, cool. yeah. Nice. Guys, now running with full race fuel, I uh, I assume. Oh, well, full race fuel. Of course, these racing races aren't uh, 58 laps long as the uh, World Championship races are. That would be uh, a little bit too demanding, I think, for these guys. But uh, these races are just looking to be sure. 29 laps long, so that is uh, yeah, that's uh, half half race distance. So. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, very interested to see what uh, what these guys can deliver, if they can deliver. And uh, <coughs> <laughs> well, that's not the same. I think uh, we have trust in these guys. And maybe uh, some guys will be uh, even so good that they uh, move up to uh, pro even uh, this season. So that well, well, actually, um, on that on that subject. Um, We've heard rumours that Ron Squire narrowly missed out on a drive with uh, Precision coming back to FSR. Such a shame because he had a he had a free license for a World Championship, and Precision were so close to signing him, of course. So. Yeah. At the moment, we've got one, two, three, four, five cars out on track of the. Stunning nine car grid. Um, I wonder if anyone's going to do a practice start. No. Don't seem to. Couple of guys coming out of the pits, but. Yeah. No. Erlof de Vries now coming out of the pits. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting race, and uh, a couple of guys still asking who's commentating. Yeah. My <coughs> name is Felix. And don't don't name me. Okay, don't don't. Right, name I should have half the people already know. So yeah, half the people already know. So that's will we are uh, doing uh, for now the commentating uh, of this series. I have no idea if it's uh, going to be Ooh. a uh, regular Fabian. thing, but uh, that's uh, that's going Probably. to be decided later. Fabian, <laughs> well, I, I am surprised he didn't um, he didn't put it in the wall there. Why are people? What, what tire compounds are we using? So I see some people on soft, some people on medium, some people on hard. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Ron Squire come out on the intermediates. James Early sets the pace with a, a stunning 136 on the mediums, but that is, of course, with race fuel. I, I, I still can't, can't believe Fabian didn't put it in the wall. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah, someone asking in the comments uh, what happened to Bono Huis. Well, um, Actually, he um, he was reincarnated as Ron Squire. That's why there's so much excitement coming into this race today. Because we all know Ron is going to absolutely obliterate everyone. Uh, that's why he's kind of hanging back at the moment, getting ready to strike. But um, yeah, I'm clenching my buttocks in excitement just to see him unleash raw pace. Um, still trying to find that apex, but he's Ron. He doesn't need an apex anyway. So let's see how things go. 
Yeah, on a serious note, though, <laughs> Bono he uh, he stepped out of FSR in uh, moved from 2014 to 2015 after getting his championship in 2014, and uh, 2015 not a lot happened, and uh, yeah, now they went to uh, Bono went to uh, I racing, I believe. Yep. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll uh, we'll hear something from him again in the near future. But uh, yeah, I well, can't well, say. Well, we, we've got Bono here racing with us today. It's just oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. why. Yeah, okay. We've not been listening to anything. We're like no. reading the chat. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. So we're uh, just about to move to the practice start, I believe. I don't know if this is going to be broadcast, but they, um, uh, they're going to show it, but. <laughs> It's too graphic to be viewing at this time of day. Probably have to wait till after 9 p.m. But um, if if you have any respect for racing, you might want to go and uh, look the other way now, or go for a quick toilet break, or maybe I don't know. No, just kidding. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure these guys will be clean, and well behaved into turn one yeah, and the I rest mean, of the first lap. It's... I mean, uh, especially uh, the the top guys. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about the uh, bottom guys. But... Let's say mm -hmm. the, the the last guys, but I, I know Christopher Cobb, our president, can do a clean start. <laughs> I, I, I'm not doubting about that, so uh, I don't think it, it shouldn't be that bad. I mean, Winter Series, Charlotte Speedway. Let's not talk about that. Wait, wait, wait. There was a race at Charlotte. I don't remember that. No, there, 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 there was never a race at Charlotte. There was no. They, they didn't do overalls in the FSR Winter Series, you know. Oh yeah, they only did half ovals, that's right. You, you might have been dreaming that you nearly came third in the race or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but there was definitely no oval races, you know, I, I, I follow FSR so closely, there was no ovals in the Winter Series, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, really unfortunate. Right. Moving to the practice start any moment. Here we go. James Sadler, our race director, moves the session now. And we go to a practice start, of course. Let's see. Oh, Ron Squire. No, 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 he's not on the grid. Sorry. I thought he was on the grid, but I'm just highlighted on him already because I'm so keen. Uh, but James Early is the earliest onto the grid. Yeah. And um, just looking at what tyres they're starting on um, to see how the strategy will pan out. We've got a pole sitter on the softs, but Jones Early opting to start on the mediums. Um, yeah, don't know much the about mediums. the dog. Oh, oh, we have a request for a shout out. Uh, big shout out to Tyler Nigers from um, Zero Sim Racing Pro. And I'd like to thank my parents because this is a very proud moment. <laughs> Commentating on it. Oh, come on, Ron. You've got to get on the grid, buddy. Or is he just giving people a chance? Come on, Ron. Oh, yeah, he's there. Probably working football at the moment. And they've oh, jumped us. Oh. oh, no, it's a formation oh, lap. it's Sorry, a formation lap. Yes, yes, chill, Will. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, they're, 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 okay, it's flipping up with me now. Or, or they yeah, they just restarted for some reason. Okay. Don't move on formation lap for practice start. Oh, what, so we get a countdown or something? Oh, I think... Oh, oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, there's there's a thing with R Factor 2 where if you wait on the grid long enough, it will just skip the formation lap completely. And it's just a practice start, so enjoy the... Um, Cold tyres, cold brakes into turn one because that is going to be incredibly entertaining for all of you guys. 15 seconds and then hopefully we can, well, have to wait a bit longer, but hopefully we can get this practice start underway. Watch out for Ron Squire, watch him blast past the entire field. Um, yeah, did someone just it's, jump? It's, it's, it's by the way not broadcasted for you guys, so we'll just. Oh. Like oh, there's body parts everywhere. Oh my god, it's a mess. Whoa. Whoa, Christopher is car Cobb is down. There? Oh, 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 damn. And there's a goat, there's a goat on the track. <laughs> oh, here we go. The lights are on. Prepare to be moist. Yeah, this is just a practice start for you guys. Just. These guys are doing a practice start. We are. Oh, Ron Squire. Ron Squire. Oh, wow. Ron Squire is flying through the field and. Actually, Ron. Oh, okay. He's. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. 
Well, oh my god. I'm, I'm surprised. This is not that bad, actually. Oh, Ron Squires just doing a bit of rally cross, you know, just hanging back, giving the guys up ahead a chance. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's just uh, making sure, you know, that... Because over 29 laps, he's going to catch them at a rate of about four seconds a lap, we estimate. Uh, Felix has been crunching the numbers like he did for Jacques Wengler's fuel in Singapore Pro 2015. <clears throat> which he did so excellently. Um, you know, two laps less fuel than we needed, but that's absolutely fine. Didn't want to win the race anyway. And Ron Squire parks up, has a little picnic, just some time. Give the other guys a chance. Christopher Raby, though, sprints clear, seven tenths already. James Early is... You, you know this is still a practice start, right? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm getting in the flow, man. Okay. Okay. Cool. God. Just warming up the commentator jizz. Who's... Okay. I don't think we should... Yeah. Oh, and... Oh, we have a car in the wall, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Uh, okay, he didn't keep it out of the wall this time, Fabian. Props for the for the previous uh, attempt, but now it's uh, yeah. The the wall doesn't give uh, twice. But uh, yeah. Yeah, someone's just like, can someone explain how Albert Park has eleven turns? Well, um, well, Felix knows all about numbers, so he can count the corners for you. No, you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I count 17, but I don't know. Maybe they... No, no, they... no, you and your calculations, I don't trust you. Yeah, but we are... <laughs> they, they probably took, uh, took, like, the uh, flow from turn 1, 2 as one corner, and the, yeah, didn't count some other flowing corners in sector 1. And in sector two, the long left hander, maybe they didn't count that as a corner. I don't know. Right, but uh, here we go. Now we are on the grid for the real start, and we are. Uh, I'm sweating. Are you sweat? Yeah, this is this is a. Oh wait, that's moment. not sweat. Okay, moving on. Uh, we're on square at the back, and we are on to yeah. the formation. Formation lap now. laps on. All the guys uh, are rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> yeah, they see them rolling. Right, how much do you bet someone's going to crash in the formation lap? Nah, Ron is on the super soft on my screen, is that what the hell? Um, um, uh, yep, yeah, Chris yeah. is on, Chris Cobb's on soft, uh, we've got Matthew Tooson on Kevin soft. Kevin Roger is on the hard. Okay, David Rodriguez is on soft. The, on, the, on the super soft, so uh, yeah, Devil that's going to be interesting. Yeah, we've got two cars on the hard. Christopher Raby is on the softs. I don't understand why Fabian isn't on the softs, seeing as he's on the front row. Right, might want a decent start, but um, who do I know? What do I know? Anyway, James Early is on the mediums as well, and then obviously we've got the two guys in the hards, as we said. But um, quite a mixed bag of tyre strategies. Where's yeah. Where's one Squire so far? Oh no, I'm just gonna say he's quite far back. Ah, uh, that's not that bad. You'd have thought Ron would be on the half tyres or something, just, you know, yeah. the full wets. He'd still win, of course. Um, <laughs> James Sadler made a small mistake in the chat saying, no chat, but, well, he actually said no chat. But um, I'm sure these guys will be doing that anyway in the first corner. And this is, of course, the top division on Formula Sim Racing. Um, it's the best drivers in the world. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, at least the World Championship. That, those are really the best guys in the world. These guys are dreaming to be the best guys in the world. And no, maybe no, no, they, no, can, no. they can be. They can be. If they prove themselves here in this AMA series, move up the, no. the, 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 the ladder of Pro and Ace, and maybe even skip Ace, as, as we've seen some guys do, like, yeah. Crow, uh, uh, this year. And, uh, yeah, a lot yeah. of guys. So, uh, yeah. Just uh, Christopher Raby now, just lining up in his pole position grid slot. Oh, maybe oh, shot there, I don't know. His wheel seems to be a little bit too far, but... Uh, okay. I mean, I sometimes the grid slots aren't completely accurate and the red box is somewhere else. But Ron Squire slots, or Bono Parisa slots into his grid slot. Yeah. And we get ready to go racing in 2016. The lights are on. 
And we go racing. Good start for Christopher Raby on the soft tyres. And away they go. Looks fairly even so far. Ron Squire, though, shooting up already. Obviously, on the super starts, all clean so far. Yeah, it seems to be yeah. all clean through turn one. Great job for him. Now the heavy braking. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. The heavy braking zone. We see the orange cars trying to look up the inside. Matt Houston, though, is... Ooh. Oh, there's one car in, in the dirt. How did there. he... I'm not he, even going to ask. He didn't brake. David, the, the middle pedal or the left one is the brake. Use that, please. Thank you. I'm just, just going to look at his pedal inputs. I'm just going to look in the replay. I oh, know. Apparently, he used the middle pedal. Okay. Okay, okay, well, uh, Matt did get past, or didn't he? No, he didn't get past uh, Cameron there. Tried to, tried really hard there. Oh, 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 Chris Cobb and Ron Squire having a cheeky bit of banter down in the middle sector. Chris Cobb gets through, but um, a, bit, a bit of a Welshman rubbing goodness. That, but actually, that sounded really wrong, but anyway, moving on. Christopher Raby, 1.69 seconds ahead. Yeah, he is absolutely flying already. Let's see if Fabian can uh, can yeah can improve, put his game on, and uh, get closer again. I think uh, in the in, in the Winter Series, Fabian did, uh, did quite well. I think he even got a P4 uh, as a best result in uh, Road America, I believe. So uh, yeah. He, uh, he should be able to uh, compete with uh, Christopher. I hope. <laughs> now Christopher doing a 139.9 in the first uh, lap. Fabian did a 142.1, so that's three seconds slower. Yeah, but he's on different tires, though. Don't forget. Yeah, that's that's true. He's on the medium tires, but uh, yeah. Obviously, the guy Games. on pole is going to have a faster first lap. Felix <laughs> James now battling quite hard for those. For the, th for the second position with Fabian. Oh. Fabian, though, is, uh, is defending. He is defending hard, and that's maybe losing uh, losing him some time because the gap is now already 3.1 seconds. Wow. Ba uh, Christopher is doing a great job already. Now, let's see. In the back, there is still a battle going on between Christopher Cobb and Matt Tewson and Cameron Roger. It's still quite close between these two. Three guys. Here we Christopher Cobb trying to take a look around here outside here, but the first chicane is coming. That's not the place where you want to overtake. That is a little dangerous. But now Chris Cobb has oh, a really go. good exit though. Moving up to the inside here, getting the inside line from the corner. Now the braking zone is for him. Oh, oh. Matt Houston doing a switchback, but he decides to leave that uh, spot to Chris Cobb. Doesn't take the risk. Oh, we could see a little battle shaping up soon. Uh, David Rodriguez is actually catching Ron Squire at a race of knots, it appears. Ron is obviously, you know, dropping back to make sure he gives the others a chance. We've said that already, but, um, yeah, watch out for a battle there. Fabian is four seconds behind now. Um, I don't really know the, um, the delta between the two compounds here, but um, I imagine it's about second and a half to two seconds yeah. of that. Uh, the, the tires of this mod should be the same that uh, than the tires of the uh, of the uh, of the regular yeah, series. Pro okay. and uh, other series mod. So I think it should be about the same. So that's okay, it cool. be about the second difference between the tires. How but did yeah. um where, where's Chris Cole? How did he get Oh oh, oh Chris Okay, okay. Chris uh, fell back really far. Yeah. Oh, he went wide at turn three. He went oh. into the gravel trap and there. Uh, oh, that's really unfortunate. Yeah. Now he's still in the race. With, uh, with Rodriguez and and uh, Squire coming up really quickly. for Oh, oh Rodriguez going onto the grass there. <laughs> Almost hitting the wall. Are Watch you on out. the replay? No, I don't think so. Are you? No. Oh, I am. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say because this is completely different. You know, that battle for second is passing up quite nicely. Let's see if James Early can be early on the power. Huh? I'll get my coat. Oh, actually, Matt Tooson. Ooh, Christopher Cobb getting past one's prior now. Red oh. move three. 
through the inside mm. and David Rodriguez takes his opportunity when Ron Squire went a little wide there and Ron Squire losing two places in one corner. He, he's got plenty of time, don't worry, he's gonna win. Just keep it calm. Okay. Okay. Matt Tucson closing up a bit under breaking, bit of a lock up there. Um, obviously he's on the softer compound, so he should be able to close up quite nicely on Cameron here, but uh, he needs to get past as soon as possible, uh, obviously, in order to make his strategy work. I don't know how the dirty air is in these cars. Oh, oh, is that is that Chris dropping back yet again? What happened here? Just checking in the oh, replay. Yeah, he's dropped back quite far now. Did he spin it? He got on the, oh, he got too much on the kerb. Um, yeah, turn three into turn four. He just got too much on the inside curb and just lost the rear end, unfortunately. But uh, he's still on the back of everyone's favourite Welshman, so uh, don't rule him out just yet. Okay, oh, oh. Roger going a little bit wide there. That allowed Matthewson to go really uh, close to him. And now on the outside, will he? Oh, we got Carl up in it. Fabian. What oh, is Fabian? Happened? Fabian. Was maybe battling with James, I don't know. Oh, oh, it's at his favourite corner after the first chicane. Got too much onto the AstroTurf, loses the rear end, goes straight into the wall. He's going to have heavy suspension damage for sure. As yeah, well as no front yeah. wing. I look at this. Is that game over? Yeah, unless is, you can repair uh, it in 20 seconds. <clears throat> like you couldn't yeah, get some Yes, he, he has really heavy suspension. Look at this wheel. His wheel was just turned like oh, wow. 25 degrees to the right. No, no, no. If only Chris were here. If only Chris were here. Because uh, if Fabian goes back out onto the track, um, Chris yeah. will have some interesting words for him to say the least. Uh, but oh, unfortunately... Uh, he's going to... He's just... Oh. He's, he's repairing now, but let's see what he will do. Yeah, it, um, hopefully, if he's sensible, he'll notice that his suspension is completely messed up and he'll... Actually, looking at his steering wheel, it looks okay. Then it's repaired. Yeah, wow, it's repair okay. then. I think they... Uh, yeah, must yeah. be able to repair. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think we could afford to lose many more cars anyway, but... Matt Susan still not past Cameron Roger. Cameron Roger maybe built a bit of a gap there. James Early is now up into second as a result. And... A bit spread out in the top, up to about fourth, and then it gets a bit more interesting. But, um, oh, Ron Squire, Ron Squire, what, Ron, did he just hit the, oh, has he got no front wing? Yep, Ron He's got Squire no front crest wing. as well. So, uh, Let's see, where was this, exit turn four, no, okay, oh, exit turn three, okay, just did a Kimi Raikkonen, um, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was going quite well, actually, uh, all nine cars are still driving now, but, uh, two guys crashed, uh, their car already, Fabian and Ron, but uh, it's not uh, not that bad. I think uh, uh, most of, or a couple of our viewers uh, would have expected worse, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, it's going quite well. Really, uh, really glad uh, to see that. Now the gaps mm. are spreading out more and more. Matt Tucson not. Yeah, he's closing in a little bit on Cameron Roger, but not mm, not really. I'd say. Yeah, not really. He actually looks a bit further back, but um, we can dream, we can dream. Uh, but yeah, Christopher Raby sprinting clear in the first five laps. He's eight seconds ahead almost, and the comes into the pits for his mandatory sheep uh, change and tires and front wing and all that. And surely he'll be back out on track, I would hope. Otherwise, it's going to get very, very lonely. Now, oh, we could always drag him into the commentary booth, not now. Surely, that'd be allowed. And he does come screeching out of his pit box, like looking at his steering wheel. He's, he's just coming out in front of uh, Chris uh, oh. for Raby. He is just going onto the track now, so that's going to be. Uh, Rejoins into the lead. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but that, that's not how it works, Will. Yeah, but he's a, he's ahead of the leader, so that means he's right. Yeah, 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 no, not, not really. Oh, well, he's back on the super soft tires anyway. Um, I don't know if there's a rule about compounds, but um, or did he even change his tires six laps in? Who knows? 
Mm, with super softs, I think so. I mean, the softs last about 10 to 15 laps if you ma if you manage them. Yeah, so he's so going back out on super softs. At least, at least with with the with with our card, our cars, yeah. the pro cars. But uh, I don't know exactly with these cars, but they are the same tire, so shouldn't be that big of a difference, I think. And Christopher Raby, he's about a second of that faster, I'd say. He's now nearly nine seconds clear, so yeah, great job from him. Uh, battle for second, hotting up a bit. And I say a bit, it's probably as close as it. Oh, actually, no, oh, Cameron Roger and Matt Tucson. Matt Tucson is now ahead, um, so we probably missed the only action. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think Cameron made a mistake then. Cause must have done, must have he done. He was oh, quite far, three. yeah. Yep, turn three. Yep. Went, Let's uh, see if Cameron can come back at him though, because um, obviously Matt's tyres will go off, I'd say, in the next few laps at least. Depends depends how he treats them, of course. But um, yeah, Cameron closing up a lot under braking. I wonder if Matt's tyres... Matt Houston having a little bit of understeer there, going yeah. out of that turn. Now coming up to the second to last turn. You have to make sure you get a good exit out of that turn, Matt, because otherwise Cameron will get a big, big advantage over you. Seems to have, yeah. He seems to have a good exit, so uh, no partying um, for uh, Chris Cameron uh, so far. Yeah, but yeah, no DRS in these cars for those who are wondering. Obviously, GP2 does use DRS now in real life, but uh, no DRS in these cars. Just flat out um, unbeatable Welsh racing. It's all oh, Matt Tyson, very slow under braking. Cameron Roger. Probably have a very nice flat spot to negotiate now for the next few laps at least, but that was pretty close. Ron Squire now a lap down, so he'll probably be pushing in about mm, about 20 laps time. Then he'll probably pass everyone in the last couple of laps. I would imagine. I think he's just saving up for later. Oh, we've got we've got we've got comments saying um bets on how many laps down he'll be. Uh, I'd I'd say he will get back onto the lead lap when the others pit, and he will dominate. Really? I have to be professional, really. Okay. Cool. Oh, Cameron Roger into the gravel on lap seven. Yeah. Oh, Ron Squire, Ron Squire, Ron, 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 Ron please. Ron. Oh, no, oh, now Ron. he's got, hasn't got a run. He, oh, he's quite close to pit, so he's oh, going uh, to try it now. <laughs> the AstroTurf just slammed into the wall, hopefully he doesn't get anything. He's out of the way now, unless, I don't know if there's any debris still there, but uh, Ron Squire. I seems so. Ron Squire is... Oh, actually, there's quite a close battle now between Chris Cobb oh and God. David Rodriguez. His Chris Cobb on the track. was really close there on the uh, main straight. Now let's see on the second straight. Let's see if Chris Cobb can get a move up the inside. He tries to. Is alongside and let's go. see. He seems to be past. He's got it yeah. done. He's, got, he's it done. got it done. Or has he? Or has he? Ooh, David. Oh, he's gone no, <laughs> he's gone a little wide now. No, that's, uh, that's position uh, gained for Christopher Cobb. Great move from him. Moving up again to P6, having lost some places uh, with some issues in the uh, starting couple of laps. Now still, we are still, uh, I believe, like uh, yeah, 21 laps to go. So uh, it's not decided yet. It's uh, it's going to be a, a race still. The gap between Christopher and James is not changing really a lot at the moment. Uh, it's closing in, actually. Oh, no. I have bad news. Ron Squire is out. No, the Daisy Sandero is not coming to the UK now. Okay, Ron Squire is unfortunately out of this race, but he will, of course, be back in style come round two. Meanwhile, clicking through the field. Struggling to find action. Yeah, quite uh, <laughs> quite a lot of big gaps between these guys now. Mm. This uh, Chris is now only moving out of the uh, gap of uh, yeah. him and David. So uh, mm. yeah, Christopher maybe 
going to be closing in on Cameron, but that's going to take oh, a actually, lap or three. I have, I have some interesting news. The gap has gone down at the front very slightly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Tyler. gone down by, uh, by half a second. James is yes. going quite a bit faster now. Christopher Raby having, uh, having some trouble, I think, with his yeah. uh, soft tires. Maybe coming in for a pit stop. Uh, in the cup, uh, in the coming. Lap or two, probably. Yeah. He's dropping off quite. He's lost another tenth in that last sector yeah. or so. So he just must be having some issues with the tyres. If you watch him through the high speed corners here, he doesn't seem to have the same kind of bite. Doesn't look as fast. He's running wide a bit earlier, but this race should get a bit more interesting now because obviously we've got quite a very uh, tyre strategy with loads of people running. And he does yep. go into yep. the pits, but as I was saying. There are people on mediums, people on hards, and we did have Ron Squire on the super softs, but uh, let's see Christopher Raby into the pits. James Early, um, not so early to take the lead, but he will now take the first spot. What am I seeing here? Anyway, um, uh, where is, he, is Chris going to slot out? Don't think it's going to be enough for a piece. Be close. It's going to be close to pit exit. Into turn one, I'm sure he'll yield, though. And, ooh, actually, Christopher Raby, he, he's done his pit stop and he's still come out in P2. That's a great first stint from him. Closing so up a little. Christopher again on the soft tyres. He will be uh, looking to close in really rapidly on, uh, on James. James, of course, on the medium still, and on uh, yeah, those tires aren't getting better by any means. And Christopher Raby now on fresh, fresh softs, so he should be closing in quite quickly. Let's see what uh, what will happen between those uh, those guys. Should be uh, an interesting battle uh, coming in the near future. I wonder if we can get Ron Squire into the team speak for a bit of a live interview now. Mm -hmm. I'll take that as a no, but okay. We can try. No? Yeah? Ron okay, Squire so in, the, in the commentary base now? Yeah, no, no, that's not Okay. Yeah, a couple of guys uh, in the chat uh, asking who is going to come today pro. Um, De Jong is of course racing in the Pro Series, he is, uh, yeah, he's going to be uh, trying hard to get some wins in the Pro Series this year and um, <coughs> yeah, of course he can't commentate and race at the same time, so um, I believe uh, it is going to be Justin, Justin oh, yeah. uh, that's going to be uh, doing the Pro Commentaries, uh, yeah. So that's going to be uh, be fun. Let's uh, let's uh, be on the lookout for that tomorrow, about the same time as we are now. Yeah. It's gonna be the pro race, and after that, there is going to be WC. WC is going to be commentated by Chris De Jong. So no worries, yes. guys. <laughs> he is still here. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Okay. Don't be afraid. He'll 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 leave you. He won't. This will never leave us. James Early uh, lost a couple of seconds to Christopher Raby that lap, so he'll be... I wonder if he'll come into the pits now. He's in the final sector. Let's no, see what he... James Early does. He has a little bit of a moment there. That's what he does. He I still thought. has good pace, though. Yeah, maybe yeah. this lap is its not that, not that good, but his last lap was a 135.7, and his best one is a 135.3, so it's... It's not that that big of a gap mm. now, though. This last lap, a one thirty-seven three, so that's the second down on his fastest yeah. uh, time. Well, now Christopher Raby going all purple with the one thirty-four dot one, so he is closing in rapidly by almost two seconds a lap now. It's, that's not as much as I would have thought, though. I mean, James Early is, of course, on medium. He is on medium tires, don't forget, so they will last a bit longer. Uh, about two seconds. Two seconds. About. The normal kind of gap between soft and medium so 
if he's on fresh self, surely it should be a little more. Don't don't say, oh, we've got two cars in the pits though. I'm not coming out of the pits at least. Yeah, David and uh, Chris. Fabian. Or no, Chris? Chris was in. The, I think Chris was just coming out of the pits. I think. And Fabian is just behind American President, and David is back out onto the track on the medium tyres. Uh, Fabian is on the mediums, and Christopher Cobb onto the super soft tyres, so he'll be learning off Ron with some hot lap masterclass, but on the super soft should be able to get some quick times and bring himself closer to the guys up front. Meanwhile, Christopher Raby now 6.6 .6 seconds clear, he is gaining like crazy, but be interesting to see what happens in a bit when uh, James Early comes into the pits. Yeah, he, I think uh, no, he's still going uh, quite fast. He's doing uh, his fastest. Yeah, his fastest. He's doing green sector times now. So that's. Don't uh, jinx him. Please. I won't. I won't. I won't. He's, just, he's just crossed the finish line. No worries. Oh, I jinxed it. Oh. No, no, he, no, he he did a one thirty one four. That's just uh, just just shy of his best time. So he is still going going strong and. Uh, his tires don't, don't seem to uh, drop off the cliff uh, so far, so doing a great job, uh, James Early. Yeah, Christopher Raby though, he's doing uh, 133.9 that last lap, so wow. he's, he's only improving at the moment. His, uh, his softs are, uh, yeah, are giving him some more uh, traction, of course. Again in the first second round, Christopher Kopp, who went to the super soft, is also doing purple uh, sector times now. See what he can do in this uh, next lap. He uh, should be able to do also quite a, quite some uh, good times on that super soft tire. Let's see, just just through the uh, first uh, second now, 131.8. So that's uh, that's a uh, good pace for him on those super soft tires that will be uh, good to gain a little bit of time to Matthew Chusen but uh, yeah I don't know if it will be enough Matthew of course did his pit stop just uh, one lap ago I believe so he's also on fresh soft tires gap down to 4.6 not closing as rapidly as we expected I guess Oh. And um, we've got P3 into the... Oh no, no yeah, yeah, we yeah. have. Uh, Gerl of the Vries is into the pits. He uh, yeah, is he's going, going for the medium tyres, I think. Yep, he is indeed out on the medium tyres. Let's see where he slots out. Uh, yeah. Should be right Just ahead in of front Matthew. of Matthew, yes. Oh, yeah. that's going to be close, actually. Or is it? Oh, no, uh, well. not that close, but it's going to be a battle. He's not there yeah, for back, Matthew. He's got a better run through turn two, of course, because he's just had the long straight before. So yeah, and Gerlof has scored tyres close. now, so he won't be as yeah. quick through here this uh, first uh, lap. Let's see if Matt can uh, benefit from that uh, slight uh, down uh, downfall of the new fresh cold mm. medium tyres. Yeah, Christopher Kopp setting the fastest uh, race time so far, 133.888, <laughs> nice time. <laughs> yeah, he's nice. pushing as well, pushing hard to get closer and closer, and you see him oh, wow. we got just a behind Matt battle. Chewson. This is going to get good. This is going to get to the good in the three-way battle. Only just approaching halfway. Yep. Yeah. Oh, James Early into the pits, James Early is into the pits. Let's see where he will start out. Now we've got Cameron Roger coming around the final corner now, but he's yet to pit, I believe, because he's on the hards. Yep. Here comes James Early yep. out the pits. He goes. Yep. Where's it going to well, be? Well in it front of Oh, no, it's just no, behind. He's just behind him. He, he might be able to push hard in this first lap, but that's it's not, not to be recommended tires. on those uh, fresh tires, on those fresh tall tires. I, uh, yeah. Oh, Matthew Tucson into the pits as well. And he's got no. Is he got problem? Or is it just black? I'm just. I'm just blind. Okay. I'm just blind. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he is. 
should be. Yeah, it's gonna come out easily ahead of David Rodriguez. Oh, David Rodriguez yeah. spun, by the way, just a lap Ooh. ago, or in the uh, in the fast chicane, he went on the curb a little Ouch. bit too much. Lucky. Luckily, not into the wall. Let's see what James Early can do though. Third at the moment, and obviously he'll be closing on Cameron Lodger. But look at the cap that Christopher Raby has. Unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, Christopher Cobb pushing a little bit too hard, going onto the uh, AstroTurf and eventually onto the grass there. Losing him a couple of tenths for sure. Yeah, you can see Chris is pushing hard. He is eager to get that uh, fourth place uh, from Gerl of de Vries. Of course, the gap between those tires, Chris on the super soft and Gerl on the medium tires, is quite, quite big. So, uh, you think Christopher should be able to move past Gerloff quite easily, but uh, I don't know. We will we'll, we'll see. Christopher Raby now mm -hmm. putting purple times mm -hmm. as well. James Early is very close to Cameron Roger now. <coughs> Just read the zero group chat then. Okay. Um, anyway, James Early. Obviously no DRS down here and these DP2 cars, but um, he should have much better traction, which is going to help him so much through this first sector. He can be early on the power. That was terrible. But yeah, he's got a better run to this corner already. Maybe a move uh, into the next braking zone. Maybe not quite close enough, who knows. Getting a bit of a toe. Up the inside, perhaps. He's closing on the braking, but it's not going to be enough just yet. But he's got superior traction through here. Ooh, is James Early? Let's can see if he can it? do the impossible. Oh, no. Don't. No, don't, don't, no, don't, 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 no let's no, not do no. that. No. no. Not quite there. He doesn't choose to, luckily. Get Early on the power, yeah. though. Yeah. Open yeah, up this get a good exit. nicely. They both get a good exit, though. Yeah, that's good, good, good driving from Cameron to get a good exit on those worn out tyres. I imagine he'll be pitting the you laps or so, but yeah, look at this, James Early. That was a much better run through the last corner. Don't know how bad the dirty air will be, of course, through these very tight corners. Just need to get a good exit through here. Get a nice run, open up the final corner. Get early on the power. It's, he kind of seems to drop back a little bit, maybe the dirty air. Yeah. But um, yeah, not quite close enough just yet. Let's see if he can get a run into turn three, but. Unless there's some major mistake, I don't think he's going to get it done there. No. Don't know what the straight line speed is like through the speed trap either, but uh, yeah, he's closing up so much under braking and on all most of the traction zones, so he's yeah. got to get ahead he, fairly soon. Yeah, he, he's trying hard. You can see that tires uh, squealing all the way. Mm. Mm. No. Really close to the back there. Now get onto the power. Better you exit. see him get a back, better, better exit there. <laughs> now, can he move up the inside here? Is he going to try it? Yes, I'll break him. Yes, great stuff, James. And now onto the power again. And he right. got passed very cleanly. Great racing Fabian. between uh, these guys here. Fabian into the pit. Sorry, but he's lost his front wing and he's now back out on track. Down in eighth. Um, saw him come into the pits while that overtake was going on, but yeah. This is not a great race for him so far. Definitely had some good pace, but AMA is all about learning and improving consistency, of course, um, and hopefully stepping up to the start in the future. But his pace is like okay. I mean, he was yeah, up there, not, so uh, he's, he's doing a, he's doing a good job. Sadly, yeah, uh, yeah having a bit having a bit of unfortunate uh, yeah things going on here today, but uh, maybe. The next round, he'll be able to uh, show his uh, his uh, powers, and uh, maybe uh, yeah, we don't know. Maybe he can uh, even win. But that's not uh, that's not uh, talk about that. Uh, so far, we're still in Melbourne now, still in Australia, and now uh, the gap. Oh between... damn it! I thought we were in um, <laughs> Azerbaijan. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. You lied to me again. Did you get yeah. the memo? Huh? Didn't you get the memo? <laughs> memo? Yeah. Dude, who uses that? 
probably one square. But anyway, moving onwards, the, the gap between first and second is pretty uh, frightening, actually. 21.2 seconds. Cameron Roger just behind James Early. Of course, he is yet to pit on those hard tyres. Christopher Cobb, meanwhile, up to fourth on those super, 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 super soft tyres. And uh, yeah, He got past yeah. Charlof, by the way. We yeah, missed that. He missed, he missed that. I, I, I think the, the broadcast showed it, but uh, we missed yeah. it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we, we don't, just just for the record, we don't see exactly what uh, George R. Cameraman sees. We, we, we can flick around and look at individual drives ourselves, so we may not necessarily see what the broadcast sees, but uh, yeah, we'll try to pick up most things. Yeah. Christopher Steele uh, going strong. Of course, after that overtake, trying to push again and get closer and closer and maybe even fight for P3, but that's going to be hard as there are only 10 laps remaining. And uh, yeah, the gap is 15 seconds, I believe. So that's uh, that's quite a big gap to, uh, to uh, yeah, to overcome in, uh, in 10 laps. That's more than, uh, than a second per lap. But uh, yeah, it's great to see that still eight drivers uh, of the nine are uh, racing here after 18 well, laps. Well, uh, well, 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 all, all eight drivers that started, um, but Ron, yeah. he's, um, he, he's not classified as a driver, he's uh, classified as a demigod. Okay, yes. But anyway, Christopher Raby, wow, 21.4 seconds, this is commanding drive so far. I wonder if Chris Cobb can mix it up a bit later on. Uh, obviously some people doing different strategies, but Cameron Rogers still on those hard tyres. Chris yeah, on the super softs of course, and that's... Yeah. Uh, I don't know in which lap did he pit? I think he did pit in lap... It was only a few laps ago though. Like, well, or... Yeah, wasn't that long ago. Doesn't. Yeah, it seems like that's about seven laps ago, but it's a super soft tyre, so don't, they don't last as long here in Melbourne. I don't know, let's see what the... Uh, when he will pit stop and uh, which tires he will choose then. Raby is into the pits, by the way, he was into the pits. Will, we need to be more on the lookout. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Christopher what? Raby went into the pits. Okay. He's now only six seconds ahead of uh, James Early, so that spice it up again. Christopher Raby now on the soft tires. So he is going to push till the end, I, I think. That's, uh, that's going to be his strategy, I, uh, I think. Unless uh, something happens to him, let's not hope that happens. James mm -hmm. Early on those mediums, still going strong. Let's see if he can uh, mix it up a little <laughs> Three bit. Three seconds back, here we go. Here we go. Cameron Roger doing nicely there. Two point seven seconds is the gap. Yeah, it's close. Come on, James Early, come on. <laughs> oh, oh, I've had a message from everyone's favorite commentator, by the way. Yeah, James uh, James is pushing hard now, but I think uh, Christopher is going to push even harder in the coming laps. Uh, yeah, I don't think James uh, James will be able to uh, close that gap down. I don't think he'll be doing a pit stop again as well, so... And, yeah, it's going to be hard for him, but uh, maybe if the spirit is right and the gods are uh, on his side, uh, it will uh, happen. We will never know. Christopher Kopp as well into the pits. He, he is, uh, yeah, of course, on those super soft, wearing quite quickly now, going back on the super softs again, just for a quick eight lap sprint to the finish line, pushing as hard as you can, maybe throwing out uh, 127 lap times. You never know with Christopher Kopp. Of course, the Americans, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, always surprise me. Yeah, <laughs> there are people out there that vote for Trump, let's put it that way. 
Anyway, Christopher Raby extends his lead slightly over that last lap, now up to 3.4 seconds as they go through that sector. But uh, Cameron Roger doing quite nicely. Um, he's on old tyres, but just looking at his lap times, running in about consistent 135s. Lap 19 was a 35.5, then it's a 35.7, now a 35.5. So great consistency actually from Cameron Roger. Something that will reward him definitely here with a podium. Unless something goes wrong. Oops, oops. What happened? I think I. No, I just realised I've probably cursed him now, but um. Yeah. Consistency is something that will get you very far in um, FSR, that's for sure. Yeah. Remember in Pro, I was so far off the pace of the top guys, yet I got nearly four top tens just by, just by finishing and not, not DNFing. I only had one DNF. Um, well, that, 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 ne that never happened. Yeah, in the the Singapore worst, never the worst, happened. worst race of Singapore history for zero simulation. <clears throat> Thanks to a certain someone's field connection. Yeah, no, yeah, and 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 and. Do you know who that is by any chance? Someone on zero calculated a girl. Mm -hmm. Don't know who it was. Isn't it a cat or something? I don't know. God damn it, Felix! You're not going to be forgiven for some time. Anyway, back to. Yeah, Christopher. Christopher is uh, pushing hard now. Christopher Raby. He is doing mm. a 133.4 on that lap, on that last lap, fastest oh, of the race so far, and he is going stronger and stronger, setting a first uh, purple, first sector time now. No, never mind, I just, never mind. I was going to say something, then I realized I was wrong, so I'm just going to shut up. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, but um, great to see eight cars still running after 22 laps, I mean... Probably get a similar amount at the end of Pro. <laughs> anyway, moving, but Christopher Roby is, yeah, he's in, he's in a class of his own. He's on, he's on the soft tyres, so of course he's going to have better grips than James Early. But um, yeah, that first stint has really given him a nice cushion now for the rest of the race, and just needs to bring it home now. Uh, don't know if there's any traffic near him. Not really. Shouldn't see any back markers unless there are any spins. So. Should just be a case of getting into a nice rhythm. Doesn't really need to work much on that gap. He can kind of cruise to the finish now. Hmm? Thought we were going to get a special guest in the commentary booth then. Never mind. Oh. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Not we've gone. Okay. Well. Well. Yeah, the gaps are uh, not changing that uh, much, at least not closing. Uh, Christopher Cobb still pushing, pushing, but uh, the gap between him and Gerloff, the Vries is still uh, about four, 14, uh, t between 10 and 14 seconds. So, yeah, that's not something you can uh, close in in uh, six laps remaining. And uh, James doesn't seem to be... Uh, to be uh, any uh, anywhere close to the pace of well, uh, as I say that uh, James <laughs> is still doing faster times uh, through the lap, so he is still pushing. He is still pushing hard on his uh, getting older medium tires. So uh, yeah, what to play for. It's at this point in the race where your focus tends to kind of drift a bit. Can't get complacent with just a few laps to go and only about five second lead, one spin and that's it. Yeah, he, uh, he needs to be consistent now. Don't make any mistakes or it will be uh, snatched, snatched away by James, uh, James Early. He is uh, being uh, great uh, on consistency uh, throughout the laps. Great job yeah. from him. I mean, I mean, Melbourne has always been his best track. He he, he told me this before. Um, but if if you watched um, the Pro Series last year, his formation lap was so fast that he had to. Uh, well, let's not talk about the formation lap actually. But it was interesting. Okay. You remember? No. No. Oh, no, I'll, I'll need to enlighten you after this race then. But uh, okay. yeah, he, he was a bit too early on the power, let's say. Got a bit excited in the final corners, but we won't talk about that now because obviously one year on, he's 
in second place in the AMA series, so big improvement. Nice to see people sticking in FSR. Hopefully yeah. get some new faces in there, Pro. Yeah, I, I mean, if Christopher Raby keeps this pace up and James Early also uh, gets his consistency up and gets his pace up as well, um, maybe we see these guys uh, moving into uh, into the Pro Series uh, in the yeah in a couple of races, maybe even I don't know. Mm. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe maybe a certain zero sim racing will steal them. Oh god. Don't, oh god. Oops. Yeah, anyway. Just... <laughs> yeah, th those two guys are still pushing. James and Christopher also. Uh, bo both of them are doing uh, still better times than their previous best times. James uh, putting a 133.7 in, and Christopher doing a 133.2 in. Of course, the gap is there, but they, they both are on different tires, so yeah, mm, doing a great job, uh, both of those drivers. Christopher Kopp is closing the gap a little bit between Geoff de Vries and him, but it's not, uh, not by any means enough to get him uh, on that fourth position at the end of mm. this race. Now, four laps remaining. Three laps as Chris is about to come through the couple uh, last couple of corners. Yeah, for those wondering in the chat, Fabian had a couple of incidents earlier on. That's why he's so far down. But um, he was in second in the early part of the race. That's why James Early is now up into second. He was third, but of course um, some issues forced Fabian to. Uh, rather down the field, a couple of mistakes, but um, the pace is there, just needs to work on consistency as we approach the final few laps, and Christopher Roby out in front by 5.6 seconds. Yeah, we are now uh, just, just, yeah, waiting uh, for something to spice up, because these guys are not uh, making any mistakes at this moment and uh, yeah they are all racing fine and yeah sadly not in any battles but yeah that's uh, that's part of racing there's not always a battle on the uh, on the field <coughs> <Formula One. coughs> <laughs> but yeah it's uh, it's been uh, quite exciting with some uh, very good overtakes here in the uh, AMA series. I've been uh, yeah, really, really surprised by how good these guys uh, are racing. And uh, <laughs> well, I think it 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 could only have gone worse than this. I mean, uh, yeah. this is this this is really. I mean, this one guy, good. one guy crashed. Yeah, compared to winter series, this is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what winter series? I don't know. Winter series. Okay. Well, I mean. Only Ron Squire was out because of a mistake of zone, and he went in the, into the wall. But, yeah, but yeah, mm -hmm. Fabian of course had the unfortunate of also having uh, some accidents, but no accident between guys, as we uh, yeah, maybe yeah. seen or Apart maybe some guys bit. did ex expect. Yeah, I mean we were expecting a lot worse in the first corner. The only real contact between cars was Ron Squire getting a little bit of um, rubbing with Chris Cobb on the opening lap or something, but. No, no real contact. Yeah, just good it's... battling, not 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 any uh, any. Mind you, there hasn't been an awful lot of battling. Let's be honest. But yeah, eight seconds is the gap, and dominant performance from Christopher Raby here. Yeah, just uh, uh, two laps remaining yeah. or one lap after this uh, lap. I think I think on the game it's uh, laps completed, so we've done twenty-seven laps, and we've got. Okay. I think. That's usually how our factor works, I believe, anyway. Yeah, yeah so this is the 28th lap. Yeah, After I believe this, so. It's lap 29, and then it is going to be the last lap. Yep. So, uh, almost at the end. Um, just waiting. Waiting now. Mm -hmm. Let's hope maybe, nobody... it, maybe it is one, two laps ago, I don't know. <laughs> no, this is the, the 28th lap. So when Chris crosses oh, yeah, this no, line, no, 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 I just saw. Sorry, I've done the wrong car. Whoops, my bad. Yep, coming on to start the final lap. 
Christopher Raby in a 133.4. So still quite good pace late on the race. He's definitely as focused as ever. And then James Early, great performance from him. Uh, very, both, everyone's been really consistent today, actually. There have been a few mistakes, as we mentioned, but uh, overall, it's been quite a positive season opener for the AMA Championship. Christopher Raby just really at home now. Quite a big cushion. Um, Cameron Rogers still on those hard compound tires. Did a great job. Um, yeah, he should be on the podium, provided he doesn't make a mistake. But uh, just looking at his times, he's been very, very consistent. He actually did a 35.9 last time around. He was doing 36s before that in like mid to high 40s, 36s. So he's pretty consistently in the 35, 36 area. Really nice. Yeah, Christopher Raby now just entering the last sector of the last lap of the first race of the AMA Championship. Now going through the two right-handers. Let's uh, let's hope nothing nothing bad happens here. No curve. Oh, and a wheel has come off <laughs> for Raby's car, and he is out on the final corner. No, no. Around the final corner he goes. Christopher Raby takes the season opener of the AMA Championship. And flawless performance, really. Yeah. Great driving. Great drive from him. And you see he is happy. <laughs> Waving uh, his wheel. Yep. James Early comes home in second. Another great performance from him. And Cameron Roger just got a couple of corners to negotiate now. On those hard tyres from start to finish. Very consistent lap times. Uh, so out the final corner he goes and coming to the line it's a podium finish great drive from him yeah. as well out of the freeze now coming out of the last corner Christopher Kopp actually managed to close that gap quite far down but it is not enough for him to Calm get down. past Calm down. Okay. Like <laughs> okay 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 beat in beat up now oh, getting... and Matt Houston has run out of fuel on the final night. No, no. no. That's something I would say with you in this time. No, but Matthew Houston comes home in sixth, and he seems rather pleased about finishing sixth out of ninth, but uh, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Yeah, well, he, he had a, a, a rather good race. He was mm -hmm. he was up there for some Yeah, uh, that's, that's, some that laps. is true. That is true. But he yeah, had really some... Just, uh, and Baby and Roos across the line. That was actually fairly close between these two. But oh, Matt Thiessen doing some yeah, swaggish donuts. Well, oh. He, he well really done, needs guys. some googly eyes. Need some googly eyes on the helmet. You know, he's doing donuts in the grass. Okay, still better than my Brazil donuts. <laughs> I cry every time. But yeah, excellent season opener. If you want any more clean racing, make sure you uh, subscribe to the Formula Sim Racing YouTube channel. And if you want even better racing, head on over to Extreme RPM for the International Sim Endurance Championship. My name is Bill Warnes and I am out. User disconnected from oh god, Bill Warnes strikes again. Guys, yeah, uh, later today there is going to be the Ace Championship, of course. Formula Sim Racing, the Ace Championship is going to be 100% race. So it's going to be double the length of this race. And it's, of course, going with the real Formula 1 uh, spec, uh, 2016 spec cars. After that, tomorrow we have uh, Pro uh, at the same time, uh, the AMA series started. And after that, we will have the WC series. Uh, and yeah, uh, I think this test stream uh, has, uh, has been quite uh, good, uh, George. And... I hope to see you, uh, or I hope you guys will watch the next uh, next episode uh, or the next the next round, I should say, of the uh, Formula Sim Racing AMA series. The next round is going to be Bahrain, I believe, or is it Mal uh, Malaysia? I don't know. Well, at least see you then. Bye bye.